Oh, that's a... Yo, yo, yo. This has to be good. If... If we're gonna have a champion of light, there's no better champion of light than Montezuma from the bloodline of Alim. Give me something good, baby. Oh! Good brothers and good sisters, welcome to yet another day in the Holy See. We start off our divine intervention today at the monastery that was just recently built by the other good brothers and sisters. We have purged the filth from the very first island. But more islands await us. More islands await us up north, up to the east as well. Now, brothers and sisters, luckily, because of our divine belief, we have a very, very strong sacrament in our favor for once. We are not fighting underneath the grasp of nature's lustful intent. We have warriors of ancestral, and as you could see, they fall to the mighty divine word. So, I think we start off with a nice little sacrament to start the day off here today. Isma probably not the best for the situation, but I am trying to level her up, so obviously once we get the third one, we can start using the monastery for her as well. With the last video, we we brought down the old city. And honestly, it was kind of like the easiest thing we did. The hardest ones were those nature fights. Oh. Isma, please. <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? Well, what are you doing over here? That's not a good start whatsoever. You're gonna get knocked out. Well, even if you get knocked out, as long as you get the experience. Uh, oh, 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 she's been broken. Eastman's been broken, but I want that to to kind of serve. Um, are we gonna actually win this right now? Good. You know what? I'm kind of glad what happened to Isma happened. Because, um, with the last video, as you guys saw, we picked up Isma, but I did not use her for the nature fights. And I got plenty of comments being like, right, I can't believe he picked up Isma and he didn't use him. Did you see what happened just now? <laughs> you wanted me to use a f barely converted one miracle Isma on these, uh, these fights down here? So that being said, Isma's definitely a work in progress, and one that we expect to eventually be one of our main hitters, at least one of our main hitters, going forward when it comes to nature fights. But right now, you know, not really sturdy enough to be in fights, but we're trying to get her some experience, even if she gets broken along the way, that's fine. If it doesn't kill you, it'll only make you stronger, Isma. Let's have Aleem. By the way, Aleem is great. She's great. She's over here decaying away, but man, she's still so freaking good, man. She's pulled us out of quite a few pickles, I would say. Uh, so do a little bit of that work for me. A little bit of the offering work. Isma's still broken. Hopefully come back fairly soon. And let's come out over here. Now, um, we we obviously have people recovering, but we can still do this fight right now. With Nay, Ate, and Aleem. And as a matter of fact, it should probably be easier with them because it's all three divine. Which are strong against these boys right here. What I'm gonna do is like open up the area up here for training, so that we can use this area and the bottom one for our new rookies to hopefully level them up faster. Therefore, let's go with the the all-star group of uh, Aleem and Ate. Koska tells my other all-star, but unfortunately he is weak against the ancestors, so we'll skip it. Plus, Nay is very very close to Miracle Four, so we'll handle the baptize. I think we also have some initiates coming up pretty soon as well, so that should be kind of fun. Now, because we don't have Koskata in there, we don't have our 69 giggity giggity Team Religion HP. We're down to 55 now, but that's fine. Ineffective. Get that out of here. Get that nonsense out of here. Oh, it's so good. Oh my goodness. Got a Tay. Hammer don't hurt him. All right? I'm going old school with that reference, baby. Hammer don't hurt him. Hamsy ham. Hamsy? Yo, that'd be a very, like, you know, that'd be a very good parody version of MC Hammer. Hamsy Hammer. He's a pig. <laughs> and he raps about pig-related items. Like, yo, he'll rap about bacon, pork rinds, things like that. You know, he'll be a very ironic parody of MC Hammer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I know, believe me, I'm not even under the influence. I just had a, I actually had a Red Bull before recording today, and I think the Red Bull actually helped me out for once. The taurine, man, that or my heart's about to explode. It's one or the other. 
All right, we have a uh, summon initiates. Right, right, right. Oh, 51 years old, boys. Is this the oldest I've had anybody here with us? I think I've never had anybody beyond like 45. Or like I've always kind of like waited for them to be ready to be shipped out for the next initiates to send them out. I'm not sure we've ever had any anybody up to 51. Well, here's the here's the strategy that I'm thinking then. Since we have an initiate class ready to go, we do have two folklores for them. How about we try to convey one more? This one though seems a bit more feasible, even at nine. 80. Right, they have a divine dude, but that's fine. We'd have ancestors have to worry much about that. We have the advantage here. They are rage prophets, so they'll probably hit pretty hard, but um. You know what? I, I think we take this on. It's almost time for Aleem to go away. So because of that, I'm thinking maybe we start giving her that that farewell, you know? That hero's farewell. Use her for the last few times we get a chance to. A tail still be here for a bit longer. But Aleem, you know. We gotta say goodbye at some point. How dare you? Stop blocking everything, you scumbag. 42. Halim. Oh, no, no, no. And you got shame on yourself, too. You think that worries me? Wash away. Wash away the wounds of war. Oh, am I gonna be injured? You better not be neutral by the time we get back out, because I want to hit you and Nay up with both of those miracles right now. All right. It's kind of weird because this run that we're doing was very difficult. I mean, it's a... If you're using the class that I'm using, the, the religion, shouldn't be any more difficult than it normally is. But as long as you have, like, a multifaceted team, you know, you're not just me just being like, hey, we should just do a lot of divine in, li uh, divine in life. That's a good idea. Like, I did that to myself. So the very first island was freaking difficult because of that. Who benefits from this the most, then? Raises HP, devotion, okay. No, I I'm gonna go with Uemon. Why? I don't know. No reason, just I, I, I feel better more. Uemon just has has had better moments, I would say, for me. Better moments that I want to reward as the good brother that he is. He's not worried about time, he's a brother. So, there you go. Nay, unfortunately, that means no baptism for your last one, but you know, it's just how the way stuff happens in life sometimes. But, you have been working on... We switched over to Miracles. Which is the prayer side? Yes. Sure, we'll do that then. So, boom. And let's see. We're down to 60 gathering, 95. Um... My next question is... Uh, don't have to do that. There's no upgrades available here, so that's fine. We have 95 fanatics. That's maxed out, that's maxed out. Meditation has not been maxed out. We can max it out now, though, I'm pretty sure. This one, 30. So we have 65 left over. I think we could probably even max out... No, it's only one or the other. 70, we're at 65. What about you? 30 and 30? Make it happen. All right. So we've maxed out everything but meditation, right? That's crazy fast. Bring in the batch of initiate. So we have to appeal from the lands. That name sounds very familiar. I think we had a Dupio last run that was a fairly good one too. Unless it was one of the bad ones that I remember because of the bad things. And then we have Oh, that's a... yo, yo, yo. This has to be good. If if we're gonna have a champion of light, there's no better champion of light than Montezuma from the bloodline of Alim. Give me something good, baby. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Aleem is giving us one farewell gift. One last farewell because she knows how well we tra treated her. Oh my god. So, Pio, what do you got for me here? You shouldn't be too bad yourself. Whoa, you have an interesting look to you. I imagine that's like paint on the top side here. That's a very intriguing little look, though. A spectacled bear totem. Good. Decent HP. Good might. And knowledge. The problem is because we're going to be peace and chastity, I think we take a hit to might, so it's not too bad, but... I like the idea of 25% defy chance. And then, what about you? Destined. Our first Destined. Oddly enough, a lot of decents for a Destined. But major knowledge. I like how we have down there a little bit of leftover coding speak still available. Unknown macro, bonus mole. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Perfect, continue. So, um, without, without even question, right? Montezuma. Montezuma, show up. 
epics. It's something about Alim and her time in the old city that gives us a chance to get darks, you know? Isma was also a follower of Alim and, you know, dark. Now, the problem is, I'm not sure, we might do something else, because I think you're also a weaver, right? And the weaver is not really my favorite dark class, but we'll see. Either way, initiate this disciple. Six points left over, and we can still... Well, we still have to get rid of Alim. So, Alim. Oh, man. Alim, Alim, Alim. I know you're leaving us, but, man, you're leaving us to spread the good word. Thank you. And goodbye. Thank you so much, Ellie. It hurts. It definitely hurts. Bring in Topio. That was an amazing um, class, though. That was a damn well good class right there. Um, and now, what we should do is... Montezuma, let's go ahead and give you some of this, so hopefully you're happy next time. And let's toss you guys down over here and get you some. So, could Yzma alone be enough to keep you guys safe here? I'd like to think so. I'd like to think so. Plus, you would benefit because you get a little bit more leveling here. And Isma, at some point, as a disciple of Alim, you gotta come through. Plus, your brother Montezuma's here. You can't be showing up by your brother who just basically joined, so I need you to do something really good. Oh, too nervous is a terrible way for you to start. I can't even blame Isma for that one. Oh? Oh, okay, Isma, I see you. Montezuma taking care of his sister. And Topi, another new rookie taking care of Isma. They know the, the, the pecking order around here. They know it so well. They're like, hey, you know, we're new around here. We better start rubbing elbows with the people of the future. And Isma is kind of the future meanwhile. All right, so Montezuma, what do we got? Alright, so I was gonna lean into the Songsmith to get a replacement for Koskoto that's really, really strong in general. But then I saw Druid, and I started thinking to myself, thematically speaking, it would be kinda cool if our independent sect would be people just based off of Alim's bloodline. Because you know how we have Isma, who's part of the independent sect, we could have the brother as well be part of the independent sect, and she could be dark, he could be the nature one. I'm gonna go Druid. I'm gonna go Druid just for the basis of our overall series, what we're doing here, thematically speaking. I would say Ascetic would be better, honestly, but I like the idea of the independent sect just being like, um, bloodlines of the, the first prophet that we had. So, Topio, that means that for you... Now, you know what, with Topio, we're gonna do the Songsmith as the eventual replacement of Ghost Cathal. It's getting up there in age anyway, so... We can have two independent set characters for now, but then we're sticking to our divine and life. So the only thing missing really from our team is going to be an, an ancestral type of class. And if we do eventually draw one, it would be put into the independent sect as well. But for now, I think this is fine. Okay, and we got a wondrous prayer miracle from Nay, which is perfect. I hope we get a really good one with, um, who was it? Who am I, right? Wondrous blessing, five, two, one, one, to each passive. Lively Burst and Death. I think I like Lively Burst when I remember. Got the Baptism Miracle. The Baptism performed by Uemon washed away the sins of the Holy Iron Chain Knights. People were ecstatic when a weak and sick elder stepped out of the water, completely cured from his disease. As the cleansing baptism to his... I think this is kind of like the, the middle ground version. I think there's like a higher one, so... Unfortunately, Uemon did not give me the Wondrous version for his last one, so it feels kind of a little bit of a to waste, but... At least we got that 10% that 10 divide chance, 4 devotion, 3 HP, 1 extra HP and charisma too. Not bad. And for your last ability, Uemon, what do we need? Choose a new passive ability. We have the Headhunter, chance to use Smite. When an opponent uses a rally ability. Why do I keep saying rally? Rally ability. Just darkness. Follow up in an ally's dark ability. I'm gonna say that one. Let's see, I don't see myself teaming you up too often with Isma, so um, that's my Theorizing for that one right there. Okay. So, that being said, Montezuma as the Druid, you're happy, so we could definitely make this happen right now for you. And where are you going as the Druid? Let's see. You need knowledge and devotion. I think the best one would probably be Storytelling Circle for now because it does give, it does give us charisma. All of the attacks for the Druid are charisma-based, so that's going to scale right there alone. And we also have the 
plus one knowledge over here as well from the creation mid upgrade. So I think that's probably the best one. We don't have an extra one for you, right? No. Yeah, so let's just go ahead and do Storytelling Circle for you as well. You are happy. Storytelling Circle would be right up here. All right, and to appeal, let's see. You are going to be... HP? No. Well, what's your thing again? Uh, cunning, right. So cunning and... Charisma. Perfect. I'm going to go market with this one. Gives us cunning. Then we have the upgrade for cunning and knowledge. Knowledge is kind of good for crits, so... Our Songsmith hitting crits when it does the AoE attacks on enemies could be very good too, so you know what? Definitely, let's take a chance with the market here, so... Oh, but you're neutral. We should probably make you happy first before we use that. Yeah, so we'll definitely go with market once you're happy first, so... Uh, for now, go ahead and increase the fate here. And what else do we got? Yzma. Increase the fate. We have plenty of offering points now. Fanatics were down to five, but we just got out everything just about upgraded. We have some purity being stored up. Let's see. Is there anything right now that we could take on? Hmm... This is the other beat-up group. But I kind of want to get them in here. So I want to get that experience that otherwise we wouldn't get. So let's just skip it forward. Maybe with any luck we get a Wondrous one we want to assume to start things off with. That could be useful. Could be great. Hey, That's a good start. He is destined after all. Let me see them stat upgrades. Plus two to Charisma, plus two to Knowledge, and a plus one to Cunning. And a Wisdom. Deals nature morale damage, also raises morale armor and raises chance to block morale attacks. Good, 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 very good. Topio? You, you didn't get happy? Oh, don't tell me you're gonna be like Coast Cotel's never happy, dog. Always happens. Well, either way, guys, we're out of time. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. Any sort of tips you wanna leave behind, by all means, do so. I'll catch you guys next time.